dance is a funny field because it's a language most people don't speak fluently. They're a little scared that they don't understand what's going on. But we really try to make it as clear as possible and sometimes using something symbolically is useful for that. After our touring our work around the globe for the last couple of years, we're really excited to be bringing our next show to TPAC this year. It has two pieces in it. The first one is called No Man is an Island, and there's two dancers. One is on the ground and the other one is balancing on top of him, and he twists and turns and pivots and does lots of things with the body underneath, but he never touches the ground. So it's quite challenging. Audiences generally leave that one with open mouths. After a short break, we then switch to Tetris, and Tetris is sort of the shapes of the video game. Many of you are familiar with this game. Instead of just making only the shapes, it's also about social architecture, about how things fit into each other. Do you belong to the group? Are you left out? Are you excluded? And the way we do that is there's a high degree of interactivity in the work. The performers don't stay on the stage. They run out in the aisles, they do all kinds of crazy things, and even at certain moments invite the public to participate in certain ways. We do bow at the end of the piece, but it's almost silly to bow because every single person in the building has become a performer because we all belong to the event by the end of the performance. <laughs>